Hey guys. Hi. Hi. And I just got my Keyblades today. I'll definitely give a grand tour of them. This little star. A cute charm at the end. I think this was Oath Keeper. I don't really remember. Definitely taking these bitches. Oh yeah. How beautiful. Ooh, yeah. Freaking cool. And I got this one also. Oblivion. I, I, I hope it's the name, because if not, I suck. I don't know if you can see it well, but... Yeah, okay, it's focused. I'm going to pick them up. Yeah, I'm using a phone, by the way, so... And I'm the one recording this, so shut up. This is hard to freaking hold the keyblade and record at the same time. It comes with the beautiful little the king the little crown at the end. In black. I expected this to be made of metal. For some reason this. But it's just like plastics. Which is cool because that makes it lighter. But this one's way heavier compared to Oath Keeper. Oath Keeper is like a little feather. Damn. Oops, that was a fan. Yeah. I got this off the both of them together. They were like a hundred each, so I thought it would be, you know, better to take it. So sorry if this is really terrible looking, but then again, it's my phone. I'm too lazy to go find the video camera. Pretty sweet, huh? Cannot, and plus I'm going to order the cloak, which is 80 bucks, the organization cloak, off Amazon. I think it's like 100 so definitely saving up for that bad boy. I'm not really going to get a wig, just because... I don't really like wigs, and they don't really work well with me. But definitely gonna go as my own organization character for this year's Comic Con, which I still have to buy the tickets. But they're not really they're not selling it at the moment. The three day pass, and it's only sixty five online. But they're gonna like start releasing those during the summertime. Hopefully, when after I get my money, so I can just instantly buy as soon as I see it. And if my friend goes, she will. I'll lend her one of the Keyblades if not. Yeah, little nice thing, little star at the bottom. Even though this is not perfect, like there's a little rough spots, you know, around the keyblade. But you know, I mean, perfection does not exist in this world, so it's still good to touch. You know, like a, just a simple feel. Of course, it's gonna be like sharp at the edges, like right here. But definitely, you see, it's like low. So you know, it pops up. It's pretty cool. I love the colors. I'm putting too much on Oath Keeper. Yeah, buddy. It's kind of shiny there. I really love this part, though. Like, the little chains, how they just pop up. It's freaking epic. But definitely love these. So worth the investing. Only because on some other websites were selling it way more expensive than I thought. Like 400 for Oat for Oblivion. But I decided to get this off eBay. As usually eBay is my last resort place. I only had 150 and these two were 150 So if you did the math, I just bought it. So. And it was free shipping, which is pretty cool. I know that the same, web, the, um, the same seller has regular keyblade i think the regular keyblade the kingdom keyblade is like 70 i was gonna buy it but then i saw these two guys and i was like must have and plus they were in the combo pack which was way cheaper for me and plus i had my heart set on these two my original keyblade i was gonna get was from etsy shop etsy dot com i don't know how to pronounce it at first i was gonna get the um the three wish the three wishes one from the agraba world but 
it looked kind of girlyish because it had so many colors. And so, and then I saw these guys, and I was like, gotta have. But definitely made the good choice here. If you're going to Comic Con this year, definitely record it and put it on YouTube. And I will so watch that. Oh, and when I go to Comic Con, I'm so gonna freaking record that. All the epic moments. I'm probably not gonna go to panels though because I don't really give a shit about them. I'm probably just gonna go for like, you know, what you call it? Just for like to buy stuff, to hang out with friends, see other Kingdom Heart fanatics. So if you're a Kingdom Hearts fanatic and you live in New York City and you're going to 2012 Comic Con, definitely write that in the comments. I hope to see you there and all that happy fun stuff. And you'll be able to see the Keyblade in person. And it doesn't weigh that much, actually. This one weighs, like, a pound. This one weighs, like, maybe two and a half. Only because it has a lot of stuff on it. But thank you thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you later. Bye!